Hey, welcome back. Um, this, would, this video is about the firewall of the Sonic airplane, both the high wing and the low wing. I was out flying yesterday afternoon, nice calm day, um, winds about five miles an hour, and um, it was about the fourth or fifth flight of the day, and uh, on that flight I'd already done like five landings um, and uh, on the last on the last landing um, the uh, firewall just came off the engine now I think I know why um, if you look carefully this side of the front of the fuselage was sitting like you know if you can you can match it up it's still all there basically and you can see that this separated like that okay and when it separated it took this side of the firewall off okay so there had to have been a stress crack fail it's actually not a failure of the glue it's a Probably a failure of this piece of, uh, of wedge, uh, triangular piece right here uh, that's supposed to hold that together. I think that piece failed. The wood actually failed because I don't see any uh, glue failure. So the stress crack started there. The, the speed of the airplane um, allowed that to just pull out and um, pull off. I was about mm, three feet above the ground getting ready to land um, well on the runway and uh, it it's turned funny obviously and so I applied power and that's when it just snapped and came off now uh, I'll also say there might have been an indication that I really wasn't aware of when I did the previous touch and go, nice smooth touch and go, uh, as I turned downwind, it at the end of the turn it did something funny. Okay, don't know what it was. It just sort of went like this and just a quick little jerk, and uh, I go, okay, that must have been wind or something. But obviously it was probably when this thing first started cracking. <clears throat> um. So there's a, I think there's a good solution for it. Um, uh, obviously the firewall is a critical part of the airplane. So with the, uh, on the previous video, I mounted the, this engine on the low wing, uh, has the same everything on it. So, what, but what I've done here is I've marked uh, a place um, that firewall is um, uh, eight millimeters thick. So if I measured the thickness of the of the firewall right there. So that's the thickness of the firewall is eight millimeters. And um, <clears throat> so I measured from the front of the firewall to the back of the firewall eight millimeters, and I put three dots on both sides um, to uh, indicate where I want to drill three holes. So um, what I'm going to do here is <clears throat> drill three holes with my uh, pen vise and um, this is about five millimeters thick so your screw um, I'm saying needs to be at least 14, 15 millimeters. Five millimeters to get through that and 10 millimeters to get into the firewall. And uh, this, um, my one millimeter um, drill bit here, uh, the length of the threads are 15 millimeters. So if I go in the full length of the threads, I know I've got in as far as I want to go. Now, the, 
the screw I'm going to use, um, is there's several options on screws. Okay. Um, I buy my screws from, um, my a bulk supply of screws from a place called, um, RTL fasteners. And they send you a nice box like this full of screws. And this is the two millimeter box. And so in here is a two millimeter by 15 millimeter screw that you would use for a um, servo mount. <clears throat> uh, so that's what I'm going to use because I've got them. And they're two millimeter. Um, actually, the, the threads across are 2.2 millimeter. It's a hex head, which I love. And it's a two, two millimeter hex head. And um, so that's, that's the two millimeter uh, uh, hex driver I use. So that's going to work fine. Um, Dubro sells servo mounting screws like this, catalog number um, 893. Uh, but the length of them, as you compare the two, the length of them is only seven millimeters. And that's just not going to be enough. You really need 14 or 15 millimeters. Now, the, the servo mounting screws that came with you, the high-tech servos I bought, um, are not hex head, um, but they are long enough, okay? And they're slightly thicker. Um, so these servo mounting screws from Dubro will work for servo mounting, but they won't work for this operation. So if you can't find a two millimeter by 15 millimeter, I know um, RTL fastener sells them, but if you can't find them and you want to buy the Dubro servo mounting screws and use the servo mounting screws that came with the servos for this operation, uh, it's an option. Um, however, I think if you go to the RTL website, you can probably find uh, what you need. Um, you can buy individual packs. You don't have to buy the whole box. Uh, you can buy individual packs. <clears throat> so, um, drilled one hole. Uh, I'm going to put this in here. And, um, and it should be going right into the center of the firewall. And uh, I'll also say, okay, so that's in good and tight. I don't want to strip the threads. I'm not going to put any um, um, CA in to harden it. I think this will be fine. Um, I'm going to put three on each side, so that's a total of six. And um, I think this will work well enough. We'll find out, <laughs> okay? Um, I will say that on a previous airplane I own, it's uh, a 40 size airplane, um, uh, but I'm actually using a, um, an OS 55 engine on it because it recommended the OS 46 to 55 engine. Uh, similar shape to this, but it's a, obviously a larger airplane because it's a 40 size airplane. Um, one day I was, I was taxiing in and the front end was vibrating a little. <laughs> and I go, okay. So I pulled it up, put it on the bench, looked at it, and sure enough, there was a crack right in the same spot, okay? And um, I, I, after shutting down the engine and inspecting it all, got it back to the shop, I was able to see that in this case, the glue had failed and you could pull the side of this out uh, just enough probably a quarter inch and uh, so all I did was um, a, a drip some C, CA in there uh, in this case it was medium CA uh, got a nice bead of medium CA in there clamped it together and screwed both sides so it wouldn't come off and uh, so it's not unusual, I think, uh, for this to occur. I'm sorry, it should be unusual for this to occur 
it's probably not unusual with the amount of heavy vibrations in the in the front here that you might see a stress crack or a um, glue failure um, but I believe uh, putting these six screws in will uh, solve the problem uh, obviously you can see the rest of the airplane here um, it, it landed from about three feet in the air and so it didn't even um, bother the landing gear landing gear you know that was bent out a little bit but uh, everything else is fine the wing was fine um, uh, the tank and the engine were all laying out in front and this was off to the side a little so this obviously broke off first and fell to the ground so um, uh, that's the uh, issue and solution with the firewall uh, this video is going to appear on both the Sonic High Wing and the Sonic Low Wing uh, series of videos I'm doing, or I've done. One more point that I'll add is, is that I've already ordered a replacement one of these. It's a good airplane. I like it. Uh, I don't find anything uh, wrong with it other than this so far. Um, um, but, uh, so I'm still very happy with this airplane. Look forward to flying both of them. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for the next video.